It has affected every breathing, living being since the dawn of time. It happens in your backyard, and it happens while your kids are at school. Rain. Where does it come from? Why do we have so much of it here in Mobile? What is in rain? These questions will not be answered this week on Art Talk, which frankly, in my opinion, is troubling. Is more flair than actual like cup quality. He's interviewing himself. Hi, my name. <laughs> you can go, go, go. <laughs> my name is Jeremy Pido, and uh, I'm doing Mobile, Alabama's first pop-up brew bar. Oh. What I'm doing is brewing specialty coffee, <laughs> cup to cup, using Chemex, Siphon, and also the Arrowwoods. And uh, I am serving some fair trade organic Honduran La Gloria. It's a micro lot that I've roasted here in Mobile at Sardis Coffee Company. And uh, it's some amazing fresh brew, so come and get some serious gourmet shit here at a little Art Walk 2012. It's Wait, too what hot year? To drink. Sorry, 2013. <laughs> We're here in front of Spire, and I'm with three lovely ladies, and they have a show tonight going on. We have local artist Amanda Solly, local artist Ash Pinkwhite, local artist Jennifer Granger, and what's going on? I see you got paintings, you got photography. Oh, she's got the photography. I've got the Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm going right. to start. She's got the photography. Photography lady. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of macro photos up close of um, bugs, a few landscapes, um, just things that are in the small world. Things that are in the small world, but on a big, big scale. scale. I like the contrast. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what are you doing tonight? I'm working with Wooden Heart Skate Shop this week. Um, uh, they have donated some boards to me and I've painted them and we're working together to get some money together for the skate park and for the shop. Amanda, what you doing? Hi, I have uh, really geometrical and surreal paintings of celestial landscapes, a little romance between some dark and light, male-female, lunar, solar relationships. We're witches. <laughs> you know. we, got, we, we got some, just, you know, some <laughs> angles and some curves <laughs> working together <laughs> to make it magical. Or what was that movie Sarah Jessica Parker was in with uh, Hocus Pocus? Sucks in the City. Hocus Pocus. That's, <laughs> <Hocus Hocus. Hocus. laughs> That's what we're like. God damn those cicadas. Um, we're here at Cathedral Square and I'm with Stephen Russell. <laughs> and he's got these amazing 8 bit looking contraptions, which they're called what? Perler beads. Perler beads. And tell us about it. How does the process work? Um, basically, each pixel uh, on every piece of art is an individual bead, and I place them in a row on a pegboard, lay parchment uh, paper over it, and then melt them together. Awesome. And then I also do like all the um, stenciling on all the canvases. How time consuming is this? Um, depends on the project. Some of the bigger ones, like Link down there in the title screen, take anywhere from 20 to 30 hours. Oh. And some of, some of the smaller things can take me as little as 15 minutes. Wow. And you've got here, we've got a card, it's called Press Start is this little perler bead business, and you can find it on Facebook and Etsy. So it's facebook.com slash press start art. So if you're interested in all this amazing stuff that brings some sort of nostalgia to you, check it out and buy some of this stuff because it's awesome. Uh, this month at the Arts Council during Art Walk, we have an uh, exhibit called 10 by 10, and we're with Caleb Morris, who's one of the 10 art artists. Like, what kind of story is being told through these different, I don't know, 
artists, ten different artists. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's ten different artists doing, uh, like they picked one character for whatever, and everybody told that person's stories throughout the days. And so I tried not to make it too, because, uh, you know, like medieval, so I tried to make it not too Dungeons and Dragons and just <laughs> try to do more of a contemporary Yeah, what look mediums at it. do you normally work uh, in? It's mostly watercolor and okay. pen and ink. So. No, like each one's a different story, okay. but somehow, like, they all seem like it's just people, like, cheating on each other. Okay. So it's like different versions of that. Yeah. So really, I just had to figure out how to tell that. 12 different times but make it look different so okay. well it'll be up all month and then also you do a lot of like other illustration work as well too do you have a place where people can find that online yeah it's uh, calebmorris.net well definitely come check it out it's like all different mediums uh, all different styles of work just different things so it's a really good collective piece I, I suppose so check it out all month thanks <laughs> no problem so the downtown scene this month was in just chaos. There's people running around getting their faces painted like they're some part of gang out of Batman Forever. Sydney Sawyer does an amazing job of interviewing somebody. I mean, it was an okay job, actually. And Ryan Johnson interviews somebody who tells you about, you know, whatever... And it's extremely, extremely interesting to find out what he has to say about, you know, whatever it is. Christopher Skoda got an early release copy of Grand Theft Auto V and ended up stealing a car and crashing it into Bienville Square. After which he got out and kidnapped a woman and took her from horseback all the way to the river. Usual mucking about, going around drinking, making fools of ourselves. Sidney Sawyer won a man's finger who was in on a boat. He lost it and he had it around his neck. Game of, uh, I think it was Pie Gal Poker. <laughs>